Well, but it's Derry that's trying to go on an early attack. And away on the far side, it's Owen Toll. The cross comes in, but it's dealt with from a Drogheda point of view. But it's back on the Derry side once again. And now it's Harkin. Harkin spreads it out over to Toll once more. Derry trying to get onto a front footing early on. And that's a shot coming in from Will Patching. But it's easily uh, seen around the, the, the back of the post from the Drogheda keeper Odomoso. Well that was certainly an early chance an, an early chance for Derry and it could have been a, a chance as you said for Parkhouse to pick up his first goal Odomoso took off a good save and the ball rolled free to Parkhouse but he hit the side netting. Yeah certainly uh, Drogheda have been amongst the goals so far this term Mark Doyle is their top scorer but Ronan Murray got a taste for it Monday night and Dane Massey takes a crack and force the save from Nathan Gartside. Excellent free kick again, as I said. Like both of them players, Ronan Murray and Dane Massey, would feel confident in striking from that distance. And as the last couple of weeks, they've been very successful with their free kicks. And Rory Higgins has the ingredients to work with over the next couple of weeks, uninterrupted. Free comes in, and it's gone in all the way, untouched. And that's in the night's opening goal from Will Patching. Incredible, <laughs> incredible! Like there's so many big people in the box. I obviously, I obviously think Adamusa was also being cut out there, expecting the cross to come in. Ariana Real just unhappy with a little bit of pushing and jostling. The six-yard box. Doyle among those speaking with referee, just keeping an eye on the situation. Murray's delivery deeper this time finds the head of O'Reilly and it comes in from Heaney it wasn't too far away and that's better from Drada. Absolutely, that, that, that's his best corner kick so far and Daniel O'Reilly got very very well Heaney got on the end of it unfortunately hit the side netting Adamoso encouraging his side to get forward sends it long once more Doyle thought about jumping goes over the head of O'Reilly and Akintunde is away and Akintunde will fancy this one that drifts the wrong side of the post from Akintunde and he should have done better that was a great break by Derry but I think Akintunde was greedy there all he had to do was square the ball and it was a handy tap in for Parkhouse Murray again gives the signal from the free kick shot comes in it was Chris Lyons guard side taking no chances and put it behind no. have to rethink their set piece manoeuvres now following the departure of Ronan Murray it falls to Dara Markey to take the free kick comes to Dane Massey sends it back into the mix there was a handball Hardy, there from yes. a Derry player and Adriana Real wastes no time in pointing to the spot and flashing a yellow card in the direction of Cameron McJanet a deliberate handball by McJanet Mark Doyle will take this penalty Mark Doyle has 6 goals and 13 appearances for Drogheda so far this term they've lived off scraps in terms of goal scoring opportunities well they've had this one presented to them here he comes straight down the middle and it's 1-1 at Head in the Game Park Darren Cole certainly coming into the action. He's straight into the mix. Darren Cole, the other player in is Will Fitzgerald. Patching again with yes. a free kick. I the flag has gone up on this oh. near side. He's pulled it down. Patching has got a second goal from a free kick. Well, Siobhan, from our angle, I was just about to say to you that, that the wall was badly set up, and with someone like Patching, I could see a, a gap there. The wall was wrongly placed. We're, we're directly behind where that free kick was taken, and as you were saying earlier, that draw to giving away these free kicks in these places, you will be punished with a player the quality of Will Patching. I think draw from what I've seen of Clark would be better, would be better getting him in wide areas because. With, with Dirty we're play, playing three at the back there would be space on the flanks for, for Clark to expose yeah I'm sure they're willing to try anything Darren Markey is hauled down and that's Darren Cole 
Red card. And having picked up a yellow card moments ago for seemingly having said something to the referee. It's a second yellow card for Darren Cole in a matter of mo minutes, and he is off. Still plenty of running in Deegan. Certainly plenty of running in Brown. Clark, though, runs into trouble in the middle. Markey. Deegan again comes from deep. Stalks out the opposition. Tries to find Adam Mayo. He goes to ground. Referee was right on the mark in the position of Adam Mayo. And he too is going to be sent off because he too has been yellow carded. And that's the second yellow for him. And it'll be 10 against 10 in the final seven minutes. Well, amazing. Absolutely amazing. He's done him. Obviously, his second yellow for assimilation there. And really, like, to me... I've seen them given, Siobhan, I've seen them given. Drogheda up to this have been one of the inform, if not the inform side in the league in recent weeks. Clark plays one around the outside, falls for Mark Doyle, he'll have a shot. A wonderful claw away from Nathan Gartside. Hasn't had much to do in this second half, but when called upon, right place, right time, and right option from the keeper. Good now it's Dane Massey, he too has to go long. Goes on the outside to his captain, Brown. Brown gets the cross in, but cleared by McJanet. And that is the last play of the game. And Derry have come to head in the game park. And they've taken the three points. Will Patchings, two free kicks, one in either half. Both catching Odomosu. A little unawares, both ending up in the back of the net. Well, that's enough to claim the points tonight. Drada briefly got back into matters just around the hour mark when Mark Doyle converted a penalty. But it was a tale of two red cards late on. Darren Cole firstly walked for Derry. Later, Adam Mayo joined him in the dressing room area following two yellow cards for him. But ultimately, on the scoreboard, that's what matters. It's resulted in a victory for Derry City.